And in Greene County, workers are busy making repairs at Young's Jersey Dairy after the iconic cow on the dairy sign was blown away. But staff have an extra challenge now after several parts of that cow broke off and are now missing. 2 News reporter Kelly King continues our team coverage, explaining when repairs are expected to be complete. Owner Dan Young says the cow comes down every few years to be repainted and fixed. He says it was probably about time anyway to take her down. He just wasn't planning on it quite like this. An empty putt putt course, but Dan Young is up early tending to the cows. Well, I'm out here in the parking lot looking for a cow ear. He normally works Sundays, but the day's duties aren't exactly run of the mill. Yeah, no, I've not had to look for a cow here before. The 40 plus year old cow was no match for Saturday's wins. Gus knocked the 50 pound icon from atop the Young's Jersey dairy sign. You know, you know some people think that we're trying to milk this for all it's worth. <laughs> Visitors like the Kiefers recognize the dairy by the landmark. Um, cows. And knew immediately something was missing. They know that when we pull up, that the cow means that they've been there at the Young's dairy. Saturday, Dan wrangled the cow into the barn to make repairs. One missing horn, but we have a horn, and we got one broken tail, but there's a tail. And of course, the left rear leg is on top of the sign. Now he's on the hunt for its ear. The ear's about this long and about that wide. Funny, I hope they find it and they can put him back together, okay? <laughs> Them tails are funny. After spending the day combing through the gravel and grass with no sign of an ear, so we ought to be able to find it. But it could be in the next county. Dan says he could be searching for it until the cows come home. No luck. We'll just have to rebuild it. Dan Young says it might take about a week to make repairs, but the cow will be back up on top of the sign. Kelly King, 2 News, working for you.